Hello everyone. Uh, so today uh, I want to introduce uh, Party Rock, which is a website that developed by AWS, where you can create uh, generative AI apps within five minutes, and it is free for now. So you can just go to this website, PartyRock.AWS, and then you can log in with your Google account, your Apple account, or your AWS account. And once you log in, uh, you can uh, go ahead and create an app. So uh, you can start an app by uh, generate um, a prompt, or you can start from an empty app. So let's go ahead from the create an empty app, where you can give it a title. So for example, this one, I'll call it uh, find play places. Okay, so that's a title from an app. And then you're going to start to add different uh, widgets. So those widgets can be the input, like uh, you can have a user to type some information, or it can be a text message, which you can display uh, to your users that explaining what is some of the steps or the, how to use your app. Uh, you can even allow user to upload documents. So uh, they accept PDF, CSV, JSON, etc. Um, there's a limitation for the documents that is up to 120,000 characters. Uh, the widgets can also be like uh, the output from the models. So uh, they can generate text, uh, they can generate image, or you can have a chatbot that can uh, communicate with your audience. All right, so let's first, let's try to do a, a text. So this is like a, a introduction. And here is like how to use, use this app. Uh, so say for example, I want user to provide uh, a case age and location, the app will run a place to play. Okay. Um, okay, so that is the introduction. Um, all right, uh, so now we are going to, let's say, uh, receive the user input. So this will be a user input. And this is a uh, kid's age. So let's see, uh, provide a kid's age. And you can give it a default value, uh, like see five. And our second input, uh, let's see, gender. So provide uh his gender so i'm not going to i'm not going to give a default value so here you can see they just ask uh, to provide a gender uh and finally i want to provide a location so location provide uh your location okay uh, so because I think I need those uh, information like age, gender, and also location, and then I will ask AI to recommend the places. Okay, so so now I'm going to uh, bring AI. So uh, so I want AI to first to uh, find some uh, recommend some places. So so here I choose the uh, the text generation model so this will be list three places and now you can select the model that you are interested um, uh, so they uh, they have different large language models that are uh, hosted on AWS and the bars indicate the, the the cost so it is free from now but the different models have different uh, credits that we are, they will use uh, so I believe uh, three bars are the most expensive, and one bar are uh, one bar are is the least expensive. So, 
So for the recommendations, uh, I think I can choose a, a cheaper one. Okay, so let's see. Recommend three places for a. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to bring the user input. So because I have three um, inputs, so I will use add, and I can call the user input. So for old and uh, is a boy or girl who lives in that location. Okay, so first I want to list uh, three places that recommend three places for uh, this old is a boy or girl that can live in that lives in this location. Uh, you can also choose uh, the temperature or the number of the retained uh, responses. So those are very those are the uh, general uh, parameters uh, for the large language models. So I'm, I will leave those uh, default settings and I will save. Okay, so this is my first um, uh, output, and I think the very uh, a very nice feature is that you can have multiple models or like multiple agents that can work together and on different tasks. So for example, now I have three places. Uh, I'm going to call a second model that to decide the place. Okay, so here you, you can choose a different model to do that. Uh, so for example, this time I'm going to use, I forgot which one I choose in the first one, so I just use a second one uh, for this uh, model. So pick one place from the three places. So pick the 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 place that recommended by the, the previous model uh, that is best for uh, again uh, we are bringing the user input old gender who lives in that location okay so so now I have my second model that will pick the best one and for uh, for the kids that at that age, gender, and also location, and I'm going to save this one. Okay, and now I'm going. So now, suppose that I already have the the best place. Um, yes. Okay. So suppose that I have the best place, uh, and now I'm going to have. Uh, the second model that is so now I have the the best place and I need to convince my kid to to go with me. So this is point to the to kids. Okay. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to choose a very good model, so a very expensive model. Uh, uh, so I will use this one. Okay. You need to convince. Uh, this old this year's old is a boy or girl to play at the the decided uh, location okay uh, with one sentence okay so so now I have the place and I want to convince my my kid uh, to play with me okay let me see old okay and see how can I convince, so I ask AI for help. Uh, I use a very expensive one, so I think this is probably the most important uh, output. All right, uh, let's also try an image. Uh, so we can also generate an image. And for the image, so let's see a picture of playing. Uh, so there are only two options, I just use uh, the second one. So. Uh, so create an image for uh, this old is a boy or girl play at the selected place with uh,
provided in the explanation. So, so that's my last step. So, so now I have the the words that I'm going to convince my kid to play. I also want to show him or her an image that imagine that okay, so you are going to play at this place and see that is very fun. So, so that's my that's my plan. Uh, I'm going to uh, for this one uh, a little bit larger. So because we we are going to see the uh, see the image. All right, uh, so now uh, the app is ready. So let's say I'm going to tell, uh, I'm going to type my his information. So he's six years old and is a boy, and we live in Fairfax, Virginia. Okay, and now we just hit uh, this play button. Okay, so now all the models will be working together. So this will be the first model. And the first model will generate three places. The second model will choose the best one. The third model will convince the kids by text. And our last model will convince the kids by image. Okay, so let's give it a try. Yes, the others are waiting. Okay. Uh, so now we have the uh, first model. So it choose like National Air and Space Museum, National Zoo, and also a Children's Science Center. All right. Um, and this, uh, and also in the second model, uh, it recommended the Children's Science Center, and it says that it's age appropriate, so it's nice for six years old. It has interactive learning, so that children can touch, explore, and experiment. And and also, it's also close to Fairfax. Okay, so. Um, it also has a wide range of STM topics. Uh, they also have some special event. Okay, and they also said although the other uh, uh, recommended places are nice, however, uh, child children's science center is the best one based on this model. And here there's a explanation. So hey buddy, wouldn't it be super cool to explore the place where you can build things? Do fun experiment and even play with robots. Okay, so let's check out the Children's Science Center, and this is the image. Okay, I, I think it's very nice. So, uh, it's a six years boy who was playing at uh, with robots, and also at the um, at the museum. It, it does not look like a museum, to be honest, but. But I think that uh, that that should work. So, all right. Uh, so that is my first app. Uh, so basically, you can organize the user input, either uh, uploading documents or type informations, and then you can organize different uh, large language models or foundation models that use the inputs from either users or from the the other models, and they generate new outputs. Uh, once we have the app, like see here, uh, we can reuse this one. Uh, we can capture the screenshots. For example, if, if you have a very nice uh, generated uh, text message or images you want to share with other people, uh, you can also export its app. So this will export the app with as a Word document. Uh, it's a kind of surprising. Uh, so basically, it just recorded all the steps that you made uh, when you created uh, this app. Uh, you can also share this app. So you can make it public so everyone can use your app. Um, and also you can share this one to specific users or you can just keep it as private. All right, uh, so let's also try the other option. So for example, how can we upload a document and also how can we use the chat function? So this time uh, I'm going to to try to use to write a prompt, uh, so they have some um, example prompt like social media post generator, uh, concert finder, uh, and also educative like uh, uh, text to SQL generator. So here, I want to create uh, an app. Help me understand. Professor's uh, syllabus. Okay, and I'm going to generate uh, this app, and this time I'm I'm generating an app use a prompt. So so 
ask AI to generate app for me. Okay, so click generate. Uh, this may take uh, a few minutes. All right, uh, so this is a generated app. So they have the title, syllabus decoder, and they have the descriptions. Uh, everything uh, is editable. So if you don't like any of those part, or if you want to add uh, additional part, and uh, you can edit. Uh, let's just use this app. So first, you need to upload the syllabus. So I'm going to upload my syllabus, uh, which is uh, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. So I upload it as a PDF, and you can see it's very quick that they uh, extracted the PDF uh, information from the uh, extracted text from the PDF, and also this uh, the characters. And the second one is that uh, uh, user input. So discussions. All right. So. Uh, let's see, ask a question about syllabus or request a summary. Okay, I see. Give me a summary. And I need to click play. Okay, so this is a summary of key points from the GMUI 480. Okay, uh, so it involves blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> uh, and now they have the chat. Okay, so uh, so I'm ready to dis discuss the syllabus in more details and answer additional questions you may have. All right. Uh, so let's see uh, when is uh, office hour. Okay. Um, so according to the syllabus, uh, I have the following office hours. So in person and also uh, on Zoom. Okay, uh, so that's very nice. Uh, when is the final exam? Okay, and by the way, I don't have an exam, so so I'm I'm just ask see if AI can stand. Okay, so does not mention final exam. However, it does state some late submissions policy, etc. So. Um, Okay, uh, so they also recommend to connect with the professor directly as there's no information about the exam in the syllabus. Okay, all right, uh, so uh, that's this app. And, and of course, you can choose different uh, models, uh, change the settings, uh, etc. Okay, uh, so let's try another one. We're um, uh, we're going to create app that analyze data. So let's see. So if they can um, do some uh, quantitative analysis, so create an app to analyze the uh, uploaded uh, uh, CSV file. Okay. See, generate. Uh, so the data that I'm going to try is uh, house price uh, CSV data. So it contains the house price, number of the bedroom, bathroom, house types, or whether it has a parking lot, and also the other information like zip code, uh, year that house being built, the lot size, uh, area, etc. Okay, uh, so now uh, we have this uh, app, so it's called the CSV Analyzer, allow you to upload the CSV file and analyze its content. Okay, nice. So uh, I'm going to drag um, the CSV file, so that's the host price. And let's play this uh, due to error, try it again. Okay, so try it again, so a file analyze. Uh, it also has a, a, a chatbot. So let's first, let's wait the, uh, the first uh, model uh, complete. Uh, and then we're going to try the chatbot. So we can see that uh, this CSV file has uh, 285,000 
and characters. All right, here we have the response. So it has uh, uh, the 1,211 rows and also 51 uh, columns and contains the detailed information about properties include price, number of bathroom, bedroom, house type, uh, appear to be a mix of the numerical values, uh, contains multiple zip code uh, located in different areas, uh, okay, let's ask questions. So let's see what is uh, average house price. Okay, so I'm just curious. So uh, are they going to give me the, the real number or just uh, a Python code? Okay, so after a uh, uh, few seconds, they just give me how to calculate the um, the average price. So remove all the rows that blank and also remove the whole type is this as landlord. Okay, convert numeric and let him perform those steps and get back to you. Okay, uh, is there a continue button? Yes, please. Okay. Um. All right. Uh, so, okay, I'm kind of surprised. So, okay, so after finding out those uh, properties and invalid price data, uh, it says total number of the properties is 367. Really? How many we have in total? We have 1,200. Uh, among those 367, that is the total price. And that is average house price in this area, so that is uh, two hundred and seventy-four thousand. Okay, um, I I'm not sure is this right or wrong. Uh, to be honest, uh, so uh, I can use Excel to double check the result, but uh, looks like right. Okay, um, okay. So let me ask other questions. So, which type of house is more Safe. So I think this one I should know the answer. That is, a uh, single family, single family house. Okay. Which type of house is more expensive? All right. And uh, lastly, I'm going to ask. Okay. So, our house built in recent years more expensive. Okay. Uh. And now let's see how the AI will work. Okay, and here are the response uh, to, de to determine if most recent built houses are more expensive. So it will group the by the year that house has been built. Okay, and okay, so those are just a bunch of the result uh, statistics. Uh, and let's see what is the conclusion. Okay, from this data, it does seem that general trend that more recent built houses tend to be more expensive. However, there are quite a bit of variance. Uh, so the very high average is from house built in uh, 1980s, which I, I think this is true because I do have some outliers that uh, those are super expensive houses that are uh, very expensive that they are built uh, in like 200 years ago. All right, so uh, to me, I think the the logic is very nice. So they did uh, provide very reasonable steps to analyze the data. So uh, unfortunately, uh, the results are not accurate. So while I was waiting for the AI response, so I did a manual calculation. Uh, so I used Tableau, so I used BI to compare the result against AI. So uh, in my data set, I have uh, 600, over 600 records of the house price. So you can see here, I filled out the landlord. I filled out the non-values for the house types. I also filled out the non-values in the in the price uh, if uh, for the in the price columns. So just as uh, what AI AI said, so remove the price where it's no uh, non-values and also house price that is not is the landlord. 
Uh, I'm not sure what non-residential type mean. And then I did calculation. So uh, uh, the AI said there are uh, 300 records, and also the average price is 207 uh, 74,000. However, so in a real data set, it has 600 records, and also average is 607,000. And for the second question, so which type of house is more expensive? So the conclusion is right. So the uh, based on this one, single family is more expensive. However, uh, and also the logic is also right. So they calculate the average price for different house types. However, uh, the numbers are also not accurate. So uh, if you look at the average price per house type, so we can see for the condo, so uh, we have 117. Uh, for the single family, we have 504. So we have 500 single family home. Um, and here it says it has only 100. So uh, so the numbers are not, does not match. And my uh, assumption is that, so uh, it is a very big data set. So um, uh, however, the, uh, because of the limitation of the uh, the data that we can upload. So AI only process part of the data set, uh, like the top five, or the top uh, 500 or uh, 600 rows of the data set. So that's why they have the inaccurate uh, numbers. However, I, I think the, the logic is really makes sense. So uh, I'm just curious which model they used or they use this one. Okay, so that's very nice. Um, so yeah, I think the, the logic makes sense. It's pretty accurate. It's just, I believe it's the it's a size of data limitations. So uh, they cannot process the entire data set. So that's why uh, they just gave the inaccurate uh, numbers. Okay, uh, so those are the three apps. Again, uh, for all the uh, apps, uh, you, we can edit like through the different prompt or through the different models. Uh, you can create uh, snapshots. Uh, you can check the other apps that are created by other people. Uh, they have uh, a lot of very interesting uh, apps. You can also build your playlist. Uh, so uh, you can check the featured uh, apps uh, on the uh, Party Rock. They also have the user guide like tell you how to uh, start with a prompt to create an app or remix remix an app or start with an empty app. Um, uh, so they are also uh, developing new feature like work with data. So at the knowledge base, uh, code widgets, images, analyzing image. So which I I am pretty interested. So like if I can upload the image and uh, Will, how the AI will analyze, and also if I can use the other um, models to uh, to use output from those analysis. Uh, they said they are also adding more models, uh, like El Lama, uh, and also the other uh, models. Um, and finally, the usage. So as I said, it is free for now, So which means that you have a uh, a number of credits that you can use. Uh, so for example, in my case, I used like less than 10% of the credits. Uh, so you may want to keep an eye on this uh, page that check uh, the credits. And if you click here, you use username, you can log out. All right.